What's good y'all? Today we're going to do some chemiluminescence. So we started off adding 600 mg of 2,4 dinitrophenyl into a 50 ml Erlenmeyer flask. The powder actually contains 20% water so it doesn't explode and so we got to get rid of it. To do this we measured out 25 mL of dichloromethane in a graduated cylinder and used it to dissolve the hydrous 2,4 dinitrophenyl. We then added in several scoops of anhydrous magnesium sulfate and allowed the mixture to stand for 20 minutes. Afterwards, we filtered off the drying agent by pouring the mixture through a glass funnel plugged with a piece of cotton into a 50 ml round bottom flask and rinsed with a little bit of DCM. Next, we use the rotovat. And this is what it looked like. We then painfully struggled to get as much of it out of the round bottom flask as we would need it for the next part. We were only able to scrape out 0.32 grams. Next we measured out 12 mils of dry reagent acetone and added it to a fresh round bottom flask containing a stir bar and our dry phenol. We immediately sealed the flask with the drying tube and chilled it in an ice bath while we got ready for the next step. Using a micro pipette, we transferred into our solution 244 microliters of oxalo chloride. We also added 358 microliters of triethylamine, but I forgot to capture it. Once everything was added, we removed the ice bath and allowed the solution to continue to stir for 30 minutes at room temp. We followed up with the rotavap and again ended up with the yellow powder, however this time we made our ester. This was the last thing we needed to make, and now what we've all been waiting for. 5 mils of rubrine is being added to each of the small beakers. This is our fluorophore. Next, a few scoops of our oxalo ester products are added to their respective beakers. And with a quick stir and the lights off, 5 mils of hydrogen peroxide is added, triggering the reaction. Out of the five groups, only our group was able to successfully produce a light emission. Thankfully, one was all we needed in order to finish the experiment. Now we can change our acceptor molecules in order to produce different color light emissions. We tested anthracene, 910-diphenyl anthracene, 910-bisphenyl ethyl anthracene, 1-chloral 910-bisphenyl ethyl anthracene, and rhodamine B. This was such a fun experiment for us to do. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.